Hello, I'm Mixed Miles and Mile Man, and welcome to my channel. In today's video is video number two on the Atco Royal B24, where today we're going to be putting the tank and um, carburetor back together, um, get it all fitted, put it on back onto the machine, get all the wires hooked up, all the governor springs hooked up, all that sort of good stuff, and then put some oil in this machine and hopefully try and get up, up and running. That's the idea. So if you've got an Atco Royal um, B24 with a Briggs & Stratton 5 horse uh, IC engine with this style of um, pulsar, um, carburetor, then uh, keep watching because this video could be uh, quite handy for you for where your springs go, all your bits and pieces, how to, how to break the um, carburetor down. And in the previous video I've done on this, um, we'll show you how to clean it as well, all that sort of good stuff. So if this is your first time in watching Mixed Miles and Man Man, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's get this um, carburetor and tank put back on this machine and see if it don't start. Right, whilst the rain is lashing down, we're going to get on and uh, fit this tank and, and set up up. So this, um, this gas has got to go on. You can just try and figure it out yourself which way around it goes. Okay, guys, I think it goes that way just like that. So I think of which way it goes. But what I do is, is just put it onto the, onto the actual um, carburetor itself. I mean, you've got these, this channel here. That channel there obviously is corresponding to that channel there, which goes like that. So the carburetor will sit just like that. And now the straw, you've got a little tiny well here. This well goes go very deep. And that's where this, this part of the emulsion tube housing goes. And then this hole here is where the straw goes, this big pickup straw. So that's got to go in. It's a bit fitted to get it in, but it, it'll go. Just got to get it to fit and it just pop in there. Now you don't want to, you don't want to force that because it, it will break on you and then, and then you're in trouble. There it goes. Right, so now that goes down, down through. I just want to get that to sit onto the uh, onto the tank itself. There's a hole there for that. That goes on like that, and that's going to sit just like that. So that's how that goes, like that. Okay, so it sits slightly off skew. Um, You've got a couple of screws, Torx bits to put on, uh, which will actually go into the tank. It's into the um, the tank, and then you've got uh, this long one here, which will go all the way down through the centre, through that one just there. Okay. So get them fitted. The first two you want to do is that one there on the front. Just line it up, line your gasket up. It's going to be about there. Let me get that started. There's a second one here to put in as well on the other side. And then the two that go over this side here, they're the ones that the, um, the, choke, the choke lever sits on. Okay, so I just want to just sort out this gasket because the gasket is not quite lining up. It's only because it's a probably a copy gasket. That's all it is. It wants to go about there. That's where it wants to go. Might be a bit of a bit of forcing going on, just to make it just to make it sit down. But you can see what I'm trying to do. It's about there. There it goes. And let me just grab a Torx bit. The correct Torx bit. That's the wrong size Torx bit. Get those two screwed down, and that one in the centre screwed down. I'll come back to you in two seconds. Okay, so my carburetor's now been screwed down. One, two, three screws, they're all now done. Now I want to hook up my governor arm and my, um, my throttle, sorry, my, my, my throttle and my choke. So you've got this one here, which is, the, which is the straighter arm out of a two, with two little tiny bends either side. One bend going down, one bend coming out this way. That one is going to go onto the, uh, the throttle arm just here. Sneak him on, tuck him out of the way. And then the second one is going to go, uh, it's got like the, the Z bend one end and then it goes down and curls up and round. This one goes through the choke like so and then sits in there like that. That's how they go. So now, um, all bar putting the, um, the uh, air breather pipe on. Um, of which I may have made a slight mistake. I may have to do that now because that's got to go down onto there and then this little tiny 
clip's got to go over the top of that to hold that down. So that screw there's got to come back out just so I can put that air breather pipe back onto there. So let me get that done. I'll come back to you once I've done it. Right, so we are technically ready now to, to refit this um, back onto the machine. So the only thing we've got to remember is there's a little tiny spring that goes here and that's got to be fitted onto the back side of the tank. That's got to sit onto that little tiny arm just there, okay? Um, once that's been fitted, we can then push the tank onto the engine, line up the air intake, crank breather pipe, sorry, um, and then hook up the governor arms, all that sort of stuff loosely before we fit the engine, before we fit the carburetor to the engine, okay? So that's what's got to be done now. So let me put your repos let me get your repositioned up on top of a camera mount, and then I'll uh, just try and maneuver you guys so you can see a bit better, and then um, I'll try and fit you guys in whilst trying to fit it in myself, but uh, you'll, you'll see the struggles of what we have to do. So I've got all the, all the linkages all on as well. Um, so the spring has got to go on first, and you're not going to see that because it's going to be behind here, but you've got to get all of that spring, make sure it goes on, because it will, it will come off if, uh, if you don't have it mounted right. I can go around the back of there. And it's just that little tiny spring has got to sit. Up that way. That government arm is not playing ball. All right, and then that's got to hook onto the back of that tank. It's just a bit fiddly, but that's the one that needs to go on. Ouch, that's my head. All right, get him hooked into place. It will go. But you can see the real, the real struggles we have, guys. That's gone on. Right, so that spring's on. Bring the government arm round. Loosely fit that. Just double check that spring still on, which has come off. It's just a bit fiddly, guys, but you, you get you get what I'm trying to do. It's all got to go on together, otherwise it won't. Line up your your, your crankcase breather and the spring at the back. Oh, it is a fiddle. It's amazing. It, it come it come off so easy, but yet when you uh, when you go to fit it, it just don't want to play ball. And if you lose that spring, then it is sort of game over. Because it's only gone one way, which is roughly there. I think that's got it. All right, come off again. I don't want to hook up my linkages just yet until I know I've got that spring in place. Oh, come Mr. Governor, I'm coming out of there. You don't live in there. Play the game. Oh, I need 15 hands. See the struggle, guys. It's got to go down that way, on it, and then down, like that. That's on. All right, crankcase breather, it's got to go in. Uh, 
that's gone in, that's gone in. Just to go and double check that spring's in position. I think it is. And that's it. So I'm gonna loosely fit one of the um, engine bolts just to hold this up into position. And it would be the only one Torx bit I haven't got to hand, here it is. Watch me drop this, told you. Up and in, and just get it started, just so it's got a couple of threads, just so it holds it in place, that's all I want. There. Phew, so now I can now hook up the governor, um, governor arms, springs, all that sort of good stuff, get that hooked up as per your photographs, and um, we're getting there. Right, so just a bit of, um, bit of throttle work, and as you can see here, I've got this little bit here, that doesn't belong on here, that's, uh, that's restricting the throttle that I've got, because the machine will not actually physically turn off. Now when I, um, activate the switch, the switch is all the way up here, the dead man's handle switch. And that, that's now off, because you can see the little tiny black bit in the back there, okay? When I pull that, you'll see it, it moves away from the switch, but it, it wasn't making a good connection, so there's a bit of slack there. So that's gotta be in that rested position just there, which is off, but I can't get any more throw on this throttle to rev it up uh, without that causing problems. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this cable again and take this bit off because it, it, it doesn't it doesn't live on there it doesn't belong on there so there's no reason why it should be there um because that's where it needs to be and then when you throttle it up i've only got about you know that, that, that much play so let me take that bit off i'll come back to it once i've adjusted it and you'll see it working hopefully properly right so i think um we're making a bit of progress now i've had to remo uh, remove the old cable and i put a new cable in um only because um, the old cable just wasn't giving me enough throw on here. So what I've done is I've put a new cable in, uh, crimp the end off, because uh, it wasn't actually um, cutting off on the micro switch, but now I've threaded the new cable on. Uh, now you can see I've got, uh, that's stop, so that would be idle, flat out, and it returns now back to where it should be, and it's now working, you've, got, you've now got a full range of throttle on there, whereas beforehand, you had you had next to nothing. You only, you only had about about that much play, and I believe it wasn't actually uh, revving up properly or what have you. So, new cable being fitted. Uh, we can now move on to the rest of the job. Okay, so uh, over this side of the engine now we've got our, we've got our throttle now is all on. Choke's got to be rigged up yet on here, but that will come. But now I want to rig up my bolt to go through the uh, inlet manifold. So maybe should have done before I hooked up the the governor arm, if I can loosen that off, maybe Mickle Mouse. Um, might just have to loosen that off, just so I can get in behind that bolt, because it's just gonna be right in the way a little bit. Let's just loosen him off, it's a touch. I don't wanna do too much, because um, I don't wanna drop this and let the governor arm come off behind the tank. Because it comes behind the tank, you know what that means, guys and girls. It means a whole lot has to come back off. So let's just push that on. Just wanna try and slip that bolt in there if I can. Is it going behind me? I can't get it in. Can't get it in, can't get it in. Right, so that can come out. Let's just try and move it over, take that bolt out, don't drop that. And I've got to try and feather that little bolt in just to its location. Once it's in the hole, we can push it forward a bit. So I think it's about there. Give that a cut of good turns. I know you can't see a lot, guys, but I'm just trying to get this to work. All right, that should be roughly where it needs to go, I'd say. Oh. It's going about there, this one's going straight, Mickle Mouse. Oh, that's popped out of there now, so that should go now. Well, oh, that's going. Right, so I've got two to do up. Um, one won't be a problem, because that would just be uh, a Torx bit of which I can get in just here by doing quarter of a turn at a time. So that one's okay. I'll get full turn, good. That will draw that other one in, so the manifold then sits straight. Or the uh, carburetor sits straight onto the uh, 
what have you there. So that's good. That's nicked up. I've got to tighten it. So now a quarter turn at a time just to do um, to do this one up and then um, get that done, rehook up the throttle and what have you. I'll come back to you. So I'll see you in about half an hour once I've finished doing up this, um, this bolt here at quarter turn at a time. It's going to take me about three and a half minutes. See you in a tick. Right, with the um, governor now put back on, another carburetor now fitted to the engine as it should be. We can now fit the choke, which is a little mechanism here, and that's got to go around that way. And that's got two little tiny screws, which will go onto there like so. That's how it mounts. And then, um, let me bring it around just a bit more so you guys can see. I know it's very difficult, it's quite a big machine, this, to show you. So it goes onto there like that, it's two holes. So that just sits onto there like so, but don't forget, you've just got to hook up this, um, this choke, which is going to go up and in and over, like so. That will then sit into there. And then I think there's two little tiny torque screws, one and two, which will then hold that into place. So one will go there. I'm trying to get my finger in there so I can see what I'm got, what's going on. <laughs> trying to balance it without dropping it. Uh, one goes in that hole just there. And then the other one goes out the back. Now this is, this is going to be, again, going to take a little while to get these in because just space is just limited. And there's no point you guys and girls just sitting there watching me do up two little tiny screws. Let me get that fitted there then. And then we'll see if the choke actually works or not. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're nearly there now. Um, if it's been put back on, uh, I've got to put the air box back on, new air filter, that's no, no big drama. The air filter that was here is no good, and I'm sure I've got a couple of new air filters here. Yeah, brand new air filter there to go on, so that'll go in. So new air filter got to go in. Um, it all chokes as it should do, that all works lovely, and the throttle all works as it should do too, and the throttle now works as well, it all takes tension up and what have you, so that, that all seems to be doing exactly what it should do. So I'm happy there. Um, bit of oiling got to go on just to free some stuff up. Bit of um, lithium grease, air box on, oil's got to go in. Once it all was in, um, so I've got here, so new oil to go in, and then um, we'll go out to the van, get my fuel. I've got some fuel last night, so get some fuel. And hopefully we'll be in a situation where we actually try and fire this little puppy up. So I'll be back to you in two minutes once it all's done, air box is on, I'll come back and I'll try and fire it up. Right, so the Atco Royal is now all done. Um, it's had new air filter, all change. Um, new pull cord, carburetor has been stripped, tank's been flushed, all that sort of good stuff. So now we're ready to, to run it. Um, the only thing I might have to do possibly, a bit of cable work, possibly we'll put a new cable on, but we'll see how we get on. So let's try and fire the old girl up. Now it is electric start, and uh, I've got a battery here, but I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. So I've got the ignition, ignition key start for the ignition. So turn that on. Um, the other thing you need to remember is on the Atco Raws, they've got a park button, okay, a handbrake. So make sure that's in park, which is down the bottom to the left. And then make sure that your cylinder is disengaged, which is um, uh, all the way out. If it's all the way in, then, you're, then, you're, then you're, your gears and your, your, your drive won't have it work. So don't do that. So we're going to choke it, choke it to poke it. Bit of throttle, turned on. Choke, pull it, start it. Plenty of fuel in there. There you go. Oh, oh off choke. Let's get a bit of half choke. A bit of half chat. Off choke. Bit of throttle. Yeah, good. Drive. Idle. Turn off. Cool. There you go. One Atco Royal B24, which was sent to me and come quite a fell distance too, um, because 
it wouldn't run. Oh, stalled out. <laughs> it might be me. Not been running for a while. Get a bit, a bit of a choke. Not been running for very long. Oh, really? What is occurring? Yeah. There you go. Good. So obviously it's got to, it's got to do its run, yeah. There's a few fine tweaks to be done where I've got to um, tweak the cables. I might have to get a bit more juice as well uh, on the on the mixture screw and what have you, or a bit, bit less. But no, all, all runs. Quite happy with that. So I think I think he'd be happy with it too. I've done quite a bit of work to this to get to get, get it up and running. Yeah, good. Right. So there you go. So if you've got an ATCO B24 or ATCO B30 Royal with the Briggs & Stratton ICT engine or the Briggs & Stratton or even the Cummish for that reason, and they come with pretty much the same sort of setup on the tank, then that could be the video for you. If I saw a video of Mixed Mother and Man, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell, send notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time I upload a video. I look forward to seeing that episode of Mixed Mother very, very soon. But until then, guys and girls, much more importantly, take it easy.